Hello, my name is Jose Antonio González Masia. I'm a sergeant and I'm currently collaborating with the research team headed by Dr. Garcia Olmo. Since 15 years ago, this team is working on the relationship between the presence of cell-free nucleic acids in plasma and cancer progression. And in the present article, we review the main studies focused on the clinical utility of such nucleic acids in oncology. The presence of small amounts of circulating nucleic acids in plasma or serum, named as synapse, was firstly reported in the middle of the 20th century. However, this phenomenon has aroused a real interest in the scientific community only in the last three decades. In fact, during those years, it was verified that the amounts of circulating nucleic acids are significantly increased in cancer patients, and they can carry a variety of genetic and epigenetic alterations related to cancer development and progression. The term synapse is referred to different types of cell-free nucleic acids, such as genomic, mitochondrial, viral DNA, and RNA, mRNA, and also microRNA, which presence in plasma has been recently reported. Alterations of those circulating nucleic acids potentially reflect changes that occur during carcinogenesis and include DNA mutation, loss of heterozygosity, viral genomic integration, disruption of microRNA, hypermethylation of tumor suppressor genes, and changes in the mitochondrial DNA. For this reason, Many studies have been aimed to find a clinical utility of the analysis of such cell-free nucleic acids. In the present article, we have reviewed the main findings related to the utility for early diagnosis, prognosis and monitoring of a variety of cancer and, although most of them have promising results, the lack of harmonization of laboratory techniques, the heterog heterogeneity of the disease progression and the small number of recruited, pa recruited patients in the most of those studies have resulted in poor translation of basic research into clinical practice. On the other hand, plasma nucleic acids have yet many enigmatic aspects, such as the release mechanisms of cell-free nucleic acids, their biological function, and the way by which they circulate in the bloodstream. Probably, the elucidation of these issues might lead us to a change of the conception of the pathobiology of cancer. Theoretically, Cell-free nucleic acids would be rapidly degraded in the bloodstream by nucleases. However, the enzymatic action, action may be limited because at least a part of such nucleic acids appear to be protected in couple into complexes or particles, whose special characteristics may give protection against enzymatic degradation. The characterization of such, partic of such particles or complexes may be essential to clarify the origin of a plasma nucleic acids. Many molecular pathways are probably involved in such origin, since a variety of result points in non-exclusive different directions. It has been postulated that cell-free nucleic acids circulating in plasma are not merely biological waste, but such nucleic acids might be in directly involved in the development of metastasis through probably transfection live uptake by susceptible, susceptible cells. This theory, named as the genometastasis theory, has been supported by a strong evidence, namely the observation that plasma from cancer patients can transfect and oncogenically transform culture cells. In conclusion, although the origin and the way of circulation of plasma cell-free nucleic acids remain unclear, there is a strong evidence that such nucleic acids might become useful geomarkers for diagnosis, monitoring of cancer diseases, and moreover, they might be essential in tumor development and progression. It is therefore expected that in the coming years, an improved understanding of the relationship between synapse and molecular biology of cancer will lead to better diagnosis, management and treatment of cancer.